In this video, let us focus on a question from just 2022. We are given a wave function psi of x is equal to a cos hyperbolic of lambda x. It is the wave function for ground state of a system of a particle of mass m moving in one dimension. We are also given a condition on potential v of x is vanishing at infinity. We have to find the ground state energy of the system. To solve this question, we can make use of Schrodinger equation in one dimension, which is minus h cut square upon 2m d square psi upon dx square plus v of x psi is equal to e psi. Let us first find this d square psi upon dx square. d psi upon dx is equal to psi is a by cos hyperbolic of lambda x therefore d psi by dx will be equal to minus a by cos hyperbolic square lambda x sin hyperbolic lambda x times lambda d square psi upon dx square this is equal to minus a lambda d by dx sin hyperbolic lambda x divided by cos hyperbolic square lambda x this is equal to minus a lambda we can make use of division rule of differentiation here u by v the whole dash is equal to u dash v minus u v dash divided by v square u dash here is derivative of sin hyperbolic lambda x which is cos hyperbolic lambda x times lambda and then we have v v is denominator which is cos hyperbolic square lambda x minus u which is sin hyperbolic lambda x v dash is 2 cos hyperbolic lambda x times sin hyperbolic lambda x times lambda the whole divided by denominator squared which is cos hyperbolic raised to 4 lambda x we can simplify this minus a lambda we can take a lambda outside also a cos hyperbolic lambda x from the denominator then what remains inside is cos hyperbolic cube lambda x divided by cos hyperbolic cube lambda x minus sin hyperbolic square 2 sin hyperbolic square lambda x divided by cos hyperbolic square lambda x now we can take this minus sign inside then we will get d square psi upon dx square is equal to a lambda square times 2 sin hyperbolic square lambda x divided by cos hyperbolic square lambda x is tan hyperbolic square lambda x minus 1 there is a cos hyperbolic lambda x in the denominator therefore we have a by cos hyperbolic lambda x is psi lambda square psi times 2 tan hyperbolic square lambda x minus 1 let us put this in the Schrodinger equation then we will have minus h cut square upon 2m times lambda square psi 2 tan hyperbolic square lambda x minus 1 plus v psi is equal to e psi let us cancel psi from every term 
now let us use the condition there is a condition given in the question that v v of x is vanishing when x is tending to infinity when x tends to infinity v is equal to 0 and what happens to tan hyperbolic square or tan hyperbolic lambda x limiting case when x tends to infinity this will be equal to 1 therefore we have minus h cut square upon 2m lambda square 2 times 1 minus 1 plus v is 0 when x is tending to infinity this is equal to e this implies e is equal to minus h cut square lambda square upon 2m therefore the correct option here is option a